We just got the full reveal for Season 3 of Modern Warfare 3, so we're going to be breaking down everything coming for zombies. But if you expected any more zombies content than what we got with Season 2, then I'm afraid you're going to be a little disappointed. Just like with Season 2, this content will not come until Season 3 Reloaded, which won't be until around the beginning of May. So we've still got a little while to wait for it. But breaking down the summary of the content, we're getting a new Dark Aether mission, a third rift, new schematics and challenges, and a new Warlord. Starting with the new Act 4 mission, this is going to be around Saint Saving Dr. Jansen, as an unknown force of disturbing power has its psychic tendrils wrapped tightly around her, and the Doctor's been lured into this new region of the Dark Aether under this influence. As you can see from the screenshot, it looks like this new rift is also going to be in the high threat zone, more towards the middle, and that's where we'll enter to take on this new Dark Aether rift, which we get a look at here, and it's confirmed based on the rumors that this is going to be based on Zarqua Hydroelectric from Al Mazra, but of course in the Dark Aether. And I have to say, the skybox from these screenshots look really nice. We will be going in the Dark Aether with Ravenov again to try and locate and rescue her from the unknown. Once rescued, we'll need to complete another Dark Aether gate hunt so that we can gain access to get the new schematics. Activision have described that this will be pretty similar to what we've done before. We will expect a series of unlock objectives focusing on finding and attuning several relics, allowing access through the gate. And whilst everything sounds exactly the same as what we got with Season 2 Reloaded, there's at least a hint that there will be some arcane secrets to discover in this Aether Rift. And if the 115 music Easter egg was anything to go by, then there should at least be some sort of tiny Easter eggs this time around. But there are three new schematics in this new season, and they actually sound pretty interesting. So that's what we're going to be going for in the Elder Sigil version of the new Rift. So here are the new schematics on screen. We can see there's one called Deadwire Detonators, the Golden Mask Filter, and the Sergeant's Beret. Now we spoke about most of these schematics in leak videos a week week or two ago, but we got a surprise one that we didn't get from leakers. Starting with Deadwire Detonators, the description is, are you still shocked at the impressive electrical damage the Deadwire ammo mod inflicts? Then you might want to employ the Deadwire Detonator and attach it to all your explosive weaponry, including lethals and launchers. So on paper, this sounds like a Deadwire ammo mod buff that is significantly buffing launchers and lethals, which will make explosive weapons a lot more useful with Deadwire. Imagine this will allow you to transform the RPG so that it works like a Wonder Waffle, meaning there's a massive chain of electricity along with an explosion. Part of me is still a little confused on how exactly this works. If you guys have some ideas on what you think this could do, and if you're excited by the idea of the schematic, let me know in the comments below. The second is the Golden Mask Filter, and it's described as a prize schematic with a shiny hue and an impressive long-lasting effect. Gain a self-regenerating gas mask for the rest of the match. This comes in extremely handy for surviving zombie strongholds and any surprises in the rifts. And I think this is a pretty cool addition. We obviously have the golden armor plate carrier, which is a self-regenerating armor plate. So now we've got a self-regenerating gas mask. And to have this option, instead of having to spend 5,000 points to get the durable in the high threat zone is also a good alternative to have. But is this a game-changing schematic? I don't think so. The mags of holding was pretty game-changing. The dead wire detonators sound like it has the potential to make certain weapons way better but we'll just have to see and the last one is called sergeant's beret where the description is your outcomes no longer need to be terminal when dealing with zakaev's hired guns simply don the sergeant's beret to disguise yourself among the mercs and summon a trusty merc bodyguard who shadows you to the end now this sounds like a genuinely useful schematic because this like we mentioned in previous leak videos is a take on a disguise item from dmz where the actual soldier ai will not shoot at you for the entire of the game. Just an interesting concept. I think if that was in the game earlier, I think it would be a lot more useful because I think players have just gotten used to how the mercs are. But is it an entirely needed useful schematic? I'm not quite sure. I feel like season one, they came out with some banging schematics. Season two, we got the mags of holding, which is pretty cool. But outside of the dead wire detonators, I just don't think the golden mask or the beret is very useful. And a new zombie season wouldn't be complete without a new warlord, which is everyone's favorite thing, right? And this one is called the rain maker who is going to be situated in a fortress on Raha Island, which is across the water from Shaheen Manor. And interestingly, right now, there is already traps and all sorts of things laid in that manor, like as if the Rainmaker Warlord is already there. So it's a bit of a teaser in game on where it's going to be. But this is going to be a artillery and demolitions expert where mortar rounds and RPG fire are going to descend upon you as you try and take down this Warlord. And the compound's brimming with tripwires and traps. It will be on the map permanently for 
the first week of release and then there'll be a rotation between the other warlords in the game but for the love of god Triok, please update these warlords so that they actually drop some unique amazing loot so that there's actually a reason to go for them because i know they updated them recently so that they all drop weapon cases for wonder weapons but i want something very different i want something super special that's tied to that warlord that you can only get from that warlord that is completely unique and that is literally everything that zombies is getting in season three the only other things to look forward to is of course a new season brings new weapons in all modes and those weapons will be coming to zombies and i'm genuinely pretty excited about these weapons for once because most of them are from advanced warfare which is crazy one of them being the moors sniper rifle which is in the battle pass available on launch which i think is really cool interesting to see how strong this will be in zombies because this could be a meta weapon in zombies it really could and then also the bow 27 assault rifle is coming mid-season which is one of the most iconic weapons in cod history let alone from aw which i'm really excited to see there is also the fjx horus smg which is going to be available at launch which looks like a new weapon to me unless that's also from advanced warfare you might be able to correct me if i'm wrong there is a gladiator melee weapon that were available at launch and there's also going to be some really unique aftermarket parts including what looks like the return of the model 1887 akimbos can you imagine them with mags of holding that sounds like a really cool aftermarket part and then as we go through you can see some of the examples of the aftermarket parts where again these could have really really game-changing abilities inside of zombies but it's kind of frustrating that these are the big parts of the zombies content that we look forward to now and massive new meaningful additions of content i mean we could be surprised and they could add something secret in just like we saw with the giant worm easter egg boss fight for season one but as far as what we see from the roadmap and what's in the blog post that is literally it at this point we can all assume that this is all due to the fact that all hands are on deck for treyarch zombies in gulf war later this year and that the amount of content we're seeing in modern warfare zombies is clearly an indication of that but nevertheless it is frustrating to see that every season now just looks like a carbon copy of the last one where there is no deviation or surprise or twist with anything additional than what we got the season before i can expect there will also be some changes to the gameplay within patch notes that we'll see next week which could involve some other new features such as the addition of the wallet that we've talked about here on the channel there's also been a lot of discussion about pvp coming to the game as well which wasn't mentioned at all in this roadmap or the blog post so there is a chance that there's still one or two more little surprises that they got up their sleeves but it is very underwhelming to see that season three is just a repeat of season two we've got a new story mission we know that that's going to end with a new boss fight which is going to be a new version of the disciple confirmed by the blog post which sounds like a mirroring of what we got with season two reloaded with the emp mangler it might be wishful thinking for me to wish that we would get maybe even another variation of a worm i mean at this point i think i'd rather take it but i just wish that something more was being added to this game mode man like the potential potential is so high for this game mode and i just feel like because it was launched and then they had to focus immediately on the next zombies game that there was just no real focus on what could be added post launch past season one and it's a shame because i genuinely love modern warfare zombies i just wish there was more to do on the game and when this does drop and i'll be keeping you guys posted the moment that it does we'll be streaming hunting for that new dark for rift easter egg i'll be bringing out a guide on how to do it we'll be getting the new schematics and hopefully there'll be some more big changes to the game fundamentally so that there is a little bit more for us to do content wise beyond just unlocking the new schematics and then logging off the game waiting for season four reloaded i would love if they just surprised us with a whole new set of act four missions to do which weren't story missions but just actual main missions to do like we got to do between acts one and three just so there is a bit more to do in the game let me know in the comments are you disappointed are you surprised or are you just absolutely neutral on what we're getting for season three reloaded let me know your thoughts down below thank you for watching and i'll catch you for another one soon